Yeah, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Like, let's start. Uh, I really appreciate like you have taken a first step towards moving towards a business analyst. Yes, I would say like congratulations because showing interest or showing some desire to achieve something is the first very important step to start with. So like a uh, business analyst, it is like growing very, very fast. And it has been estimated by the like uh, US uh, job job authorities that in coming 10 years there will this this profile will be in very very high demand so hope you guys are ready to fill those positions so let's start okay before starting like into uh, was the career into business analyst let's try to understand like what is business analyst actually okay what is business analysis first okay like some people say the business analysts are the one who do the documentation. No, it's not actually. You are the one who are the problem solvers. Okay. So let's look at the definition which has been mentioned in Bebok. Like what they say is Bebok is nothing but like business analysis body of knowledge. Uh, they define like business analysis is like practice of enabling change in an enterprise by defining needs and recommending solutions that delivers value to a stakeholder. Okay, let me put some time on explaining you this definition and what exactly they mean as a business, a business analysis. They say like business analysis is act of bringing some change. For what we are going to bring the change to address our need, to address the business needs, to address that need, you will recommend some solution, right? And which solution fits the most for your need, you are going to provide that recommendation. And how you're going to move from your current state to the future state, like how you're going to achieve that solution. And using that solution, what kind of values you will get and you will provide to the stakeholders. So this is all about the analysis. And talking in a like in a general term, what is business? Business is means providing some values to the users, providing some uh, products, providing some services. For that, you get some money, right? You earn something with that. And analysis is like something breaking down a big, large thing into a smaller units. When we join it together, we apply our analysis skills in a business, okay? So let's look at this, like what exactly enabling change in enterprise means. First, the business analysis is like to understand the current situation. What is your organization or what is your business current state, right? Articulate the needs and the rationale for change. The business analysts are the one who provides the rationale and the answer to the why, why this change? Why we are justifying this change? What is the significance? What are options we have considered to whatever change we are proposing, okay? Defining target state and activities required to move from current state to future state. Consider like uh, you have recommended some solution, but achieving that solution or taking the value from that solution it is not going to happen in a one day. It's a big transition phase, right? You are the one, the business analysts, the heroes that are going to create this plan, are going to drive this change from your current state to the future state. The business analyst designs and describes the solution. You should be, as a business analyst, you should be a daydreamer. You should be visualizing the things. Right, And as a business analyst, we ensure that we deliver the value. Whatever solution we are creating, that is delivering the value, right? So this is what like the business analysis definitions and enabling chain means. This is the standard definition. What exactly, <clears throat> what has been stated in the BEBOC, okay, business analysis body of knowledge. 
I hope you, most of you are aware like what is Bebop. If not, we will have a look into that one as well. So what does the business as do first? How do we perform? Okay, for what, what are the responsibilities? First is discover, synthesize, and analyze the information from variety of sources, right? We have to analyze the information. So we can, uh, we can justify the current state. We can justify the future state. Understand the enterprise problems and goals. If we don't understand what are the problems or what is the goal of our enterprise or our organization, can we have a future state? No, right? So business analysis responsibility is to understand what is the problem, what we need to address it. What's the goal of organization? Investigate and uh, clarify stakeholder express desire. Some stakeholders will come to you. They will express their desire, like what is their goal? What they wanted to achieve it. Many times the stakeholders, the people who want, uh, uh, wants to achieve something, they don't know what exactly they need it. They just have a very high level understanding what they needed. You are the one going to clarify them. You are the one who is going to investigate what exactly they are trying to achieve it. Yes, we discussed, illustrate actual stakeholder need. Many times people say, I want a car. They will say, I want a car. As a business analyst, you must ask a question, what's your exact need? I just wanted to travel in a car from the point A to B. But it's your duty to ask them to illustrate more like what type of car he is looking. Is he looking for the sports car or some comfort car or he is looking for a budget car? Based on that, you are going to suggest some solutions, right? You need to illustrate the information, what exactly they need it. Or suppose the currently we have any current system that has been implemented. What is stopping us to achieve the its desired value? As a business analyst, your responsibility is to understand like what is the issues, what is the root cause which is stopping us to achieve our goals. So analysis needs and solutions. We are going to define a strategy like how we are going to achieve our goals. Okay, I have decided, okay, this is my goal and this is how I can achieve it. But we should have some strategy, right? Unless and until we don't have a clear strategy, we are not sure that whether we are going to achieve a goal or not. There should be always a plan B if plan A fails. So you are the one to uh, propose the strategy, drive the change, Felicitate the stakeholder collaboration. If you people are new to this word stakeholders, consider the people whom with we work in a project. As a business analyst, it's your responsibility to collaborate with all the people. It should not happen. Consider that some stakeholder came to you with some need. You have taken it. You have got all the information. And after that, you haven't contact him unless and until the product is ready. Maybe the stakeholder interest has been gone and he might not need that solution now. So it is the business analysis responsibility to ensure that you are collaborating timely and frequently with the appropriate manner to the stakeholders. Okay. Now these were the like, we saw the definition of the what is business analysis and what kind of responsibilities uh, does business analyst have. Let's look at like, who are the business analysts? What are the common type of like uh, designations hold by the business analyst? To perform a business analyst task or to be a business analyst, you don't need a particular designation so-called a business analyst. Okay, the bay box is like the person who performs, okay, business analysis task described in bay box. It's just a book, a bay box guide. 
no matter their job title or organization role. So here are the, some of the sample, like uh, common examples, people who perform the business analysis activity, like business architects, enterprise analysts, business system analysts, business process analysts, and management consultants. Their tasks are towards more towards the business. Data analysts, more towards the technology, but still they, they do perform the business analysis activities. Requirement engineer, system analyst, product manager, and product owner. Knowingly or knowingly, most of you people might be doing some business analysis activity, which has been stated in a paybook. So now you heard a lot, a lot many times this paybook, paybook, paybook. Okay, we will see what it is. So we know like what is business analyst, who, what does business analysis do, and who can be a business analyst. Now, how to, how to start? Suppose you are very new to this. You don't know, you don't have any skills. You, your designation doesn't fall under this, any of this mentioned one. And you don't have a, any experience. Consider that you are completely new. How to start? How to start a career? no matter whatever the role you're looking for. For a time being, forget that you wanted to become a business analyst. You imagine any dream job, whatever you want. Three things are very essential to achieve it or to, to grab that opportunity, to grab your dream job title, okay? To grab your dream role. First is you should have, you should need to learn those skills. What will help to, that will help you to successfully grab that role and sustain in that role. How you are going to learn the skills? Maybe you will do a self-study. But while doing a self-study, it works with only the services that only 5% of people get success when they are doing a self-study. They need some guidance. They need somebody to, uh, to tell them like which is the correct direction, in which way you can go. So for learning skills, you need to undergo from training, right? So consider you as an organization, if you wanted to hire somebody, he says like, okay, I have learned business analysis and I have undergone a training. As an employer, are you going to believe him? or she, because you are the new to business analyst world. It's, won't it be better like we show some certification or some proof? Yes, I am a business analyst. I have a required skills and this is, this certification proves it. But now question comes with certification. There could be a, many certifications in a market. Which one suits to me? Which, which has the most value in a market. I need to consider that certification. And whatever training I have decided to undergo, is it really a business analyst training? Is it really a standard accepted practice in the business analyst? That question you might get, right? Consider an example where the companies go to college campus. They hire a students from a campus itself while they are in the last year of their bachelor's or master's. You might have observed that the companies prefer a particular institutes or colleges or universities where they go and hire the candidates or student from that particular university. Have you thought why? You might have thought it. The, the answer is because the kind of education that institutes provide is very high standard. That has been like recognized in industry. And it is it must have been found that student passing from some particular institute or university, they are doing really a great job in, a, in the IT industry or whatever industry they are going into. So choosing the correct business analysis training course is also important. So when you're choosing a business analysis training course, 
try to put a focus on the training which is based on PEBOC, Business Analysis Body of Knowledge. Okay, you have got some core skills of business analysis. You have taken a training from reputed and well-known institute, which gives a training on PEBOC. Now what? Get the certificate. Which certificate? Let's look at it. Okay, there are total three certifications. Entry certification in business analysis, it's called ECBA. To get this certificate, you don't need to have any business analysis in experience. That's great news, right? Then the second one is the people who are like partly doing business analysis work, and partly in some other work like QAs, leads, or some other roles, and they wanted to move towards the business analyst. They can go for the certification of capability in business analyst because they are kind of hybrid BAs. And people who are in a business analysis already, you guys have a chance to prove your professional work. Let's dominate the market by your skill set. This is like a giant. You have a, like a joker card certificate, certified business analysis professional, a CBAP. It's a very known certification. Okay, many times I have said BEBOC, BEBOC, BEBOC. Let's see what it is, the BEBOC. BEBOC is a guide, a business analysis body of knowledge. It stands for business analysis body of knowledge. What it has is it's globally recognized standard for the practice of business analysis. So good news is that you just need to go through one book that will tell you like, okay, this is, these are the right skill set. These are the standard practices. And this book contains what I need to have to become a, a successful business analyst, to grab a new role, even if I am new to this. And in this book, it combines and summarizes the experience of business analysis across the world. It not from just like one organization, uh, like from one country, it is taken from across the world. It provides a common set of accepted practices. Whatever the practices or the tasks been mentioned in the paper, in, in this guide itself, that itself is the enough to get the idea of what exactly business analysts do. So we have narrowed down our, uh, our path to business analyst. So we just know that, okay, one book, what does this book contains actually then? It is 500 pages book. Okay, you might be thinking like it's too huge, 500 pages, I'm not going to read it. Who is going to read this? But believe me, like when you start reading it, it's not actually that much boring. So it consists of the six knowledge areas. Bebok mentioned like the six knowledge areas in which particular business analysts work. And combined to this six knowledge area, there are 30 business analysis tasks. As a business analyst, you would be performing in an, your uh, job. Only 30. So we are narrowing down to 30. So I have to master this 30 business analysis task to start with. But to do this task, I may need some techniques. Which techniques? This answer also Bebox gives to you. A 50 business analysis techniques, which are commonly been used by the experienced business analysts in a market. So you know six knowledge areas, 30 tasks you need to master, and 50, uh, 50 techniques. If you have it, it doesn't require that you need to master all 50 techniques or you should know it. You may use like 10 or 12 based upon your initiative. 
So these are the 50 techniques been mentioned in the paper, which could help you to perform the business analysis task. And there are like 29 underlying competencies. Competencies like what behavioral uh, activities you have or qualities you have. It's like communication skill, analytical skills, your problem solving ability, your business knowledge, industry knowledge, your interaction skills, something like your negotiation skills. As a business analyst, you will need it. And I'm sure most of you might be having this. And there are total like five perspectives. Five perspective is something which tells like from the way you are going to perform a business analysis. You may be an architect. Based on that perspective, you may do the business analyst. You may be a scrum master. As an agile practitioner, you wanted to do the business analysis in an agile way, right? So your perspective of doing the business analysis changes. So there are total five perspectives been mentioned in the paper. So now it looks simple, right? Let's look at the history of this book. What is this paper actually? They prepared, like they gathered all the information, okay, all over the world. And they prepared a draft version in 2005. Then they came with, uh, came with the very final version, an initial version with 1.6 in June 2006. And uh, again, the one of the matured version, I would say, that was 2. It came in March 2009. And the one which is the latest one, which came in 2015, a Bebok version 3. And we don't expect that it is going to change or get like revised very soon at least next 10 year looking at the practice and business analysis too okay so one book right so one book how it can help three certifications let's choose the certificate which one suits to you you say okay i am at i don't have any experience let's go for the level bell certification ecba Entry certification in business analysis. CCBA, if you are a hybrid BA, and if you already hold a lot of experience in business analysis, guys, go for this certification. Let's look at this like when it was launched. The CCBA is the most oldest one. In 2006, they launched this certificate. IIBA launched this certificate. They say the people who have five plus years of experience can go to, can become a business analyst, can get this certificate. And the exam focus of this certificate is to deliver the business values and it is for the experts. Then they, they, they thought, okay, there is a need, like people who are having a medium level of business analyst experience, they wanted to be a trainer, a consultant, or a hybrid kind of BAs. Let's have another certification that they roll up in the 2011 with 2.5 to three years of business analysis experience. And this certificate shows that you can deliver a result and you have enough skills to complete any initiative that is related to business analyst. And slowly, slowly in the last few decades, we have seen there is huge amount of demand for the business analysis role. Literally, the market is struggling to find the quality business analyst people. It's a true fact. So that's the reason they, they open a door for the people who wanted to enter in business analyst field. They, they, they said, okay, there is some certificate we can say that okay people have this amount of skills related to ba then they can really do the business analysis work so in 2016 they came up with the entry certification in business analysis which says you don't need to have a ba experience and the main focus of this certification like when you prepare yourself for this certification you are going to develop the skills required for business analysis 
and what are the standard practices been followed in a market. So this certification will help you to get the general awareness as well. Okay, I saw the three certifications. I know only one book is there to read for all three certifications, right? So going for the ECBA certification or any certification, IIBA has some certain criteria. They don't allow everybody to appear for the C certification. You need to uh, fulfill some criteria to get this certification. Okay, so first look at the BA experience. For the entry level certification, agreed. I don't need any experience. Okay, first criteria is completed. People who are doing a part time uh, business uh, business analyst role, they can go for CCBA. If they have uh, 3750 hours of BA experience in past seven years. And for the CBAP, you should have uh, 7500 hours of business analysis experience in last 10 years. Maybe you fall under one of this certification criteria considering BA experience. Maybe in ECBA, maybe in CCBA, or maybe a CBAP. Now, whatever the six knowledge areas we mentioned, which shows that what expertise you should have based on BEPOC. They say, based upon the BEPOC, knowledge areas. For ECBA, you don't need to have any expertise on that one. You don't need to have any experience. But for CCBA, they said that at least in two knowledge areas, you should have a 900 plus hours experience. Or you should have 500 plus hours of experience in four knowledge areas. Okay, for CBAP, as it is for the expert, they say it's like 900 plus hours, experience hours in a four knowledge areas. Now, one part comes over here is professional development hours in last four years. This is what like something the very, very important eligibility criteria for IIBA certification is like professional development hours. What it is? It's nothing but a going undergoing a training for the business analysis. That's all. IIBA ask, they say, for appearing for the certification, have you taken any professional development course? For ECBA, they said at least minimum 21 hours, you should have taken some training, at least 21 hours in past four years. Of course, there is like a lot of self-study is required, self-preparation is required. But the business analysis, the people who are completely new to it, they will, how they will know, like they have developed a particular skills. They are going in the right direction. For that, they, are, they need to undergo some training. They need to do some professional development. And at least for 21 hours. For CCBA, it is again a 21 hours. And for CBAP, they say like, okay, you need to, uh, you must have undergone a 35 hours of business analysis training or professional development hours. Education, okay, higher school or equivalent is enough. I guess most of you will clear this. References. For ECBA, you don't need any reference to appear for this certification. Okay, for some higher level certification, CCBA and CBAP, you need two references because you have to prove your business analysis work experience, right? They will not ask you and your resume. They will, they will ask the two references that you are going to provide it over here. So you need to provide the two references. Who can be these two references? You cannot ask, refer your friend. The two references should be either a CBAP certified person or you are a customer, internal or external, or you are line manager. Line manager is the person who 
do your appraisal only these people can be your reference not your friend not your colleagues unless and until they are cbap certified and they have <clears throat> they know you for at least 6 months okay and all information you are going to provide to them you are going to sign a code of conduct that all information provided is true right as we have seen the three certification what is eligibility criteria because we find this this is the correct way this is the uh, very well known way to enter into business analysis world okay so let's move ahead let's look at the exam focus we will target on the certificates now because we know that this is the right way to get it into the business analysis world so exam focus for ecba would be like knowledge base they are going to test you based upon knowledge what how much knowledge do you have related to business analysis for ccba you will get a scenario based questions like you will get some scenario based on that how you are going to handle it you will get two to three questions based on that and you need to select one for cbap as you said like you are eligible if you are an expert go for it they will provide you one page or one and a half page a uh, case study based on that you will get a question all questions will be like multiple choice questions you will have only four possible answers for it there is no negative marking and all questions you will not get true or false kind of questions only one possible answer for that even no need to you will not get the questions where you need to select a multiple options sounds good right let's look at the number of questions for ecba you will get 50 questions for ccba you will get 130 questions and for the cbap you will get 120 questions time duration is like 1.5 hours 3 hours and 3.5 hours believe me guys it is very much enough 95 percent of people who gave the exam any certification have felt that okay the time is quite enough only five percent of people feel that it is not enough testing agency is pci you can take this test at home by registering for the remote inspector or you can go to visit their uh, testing center and you can give the exam there during exam you can use one blank paper okay there could be some points when you gone through a paper as soon as you get this paper and your exam starts given by your uh, inspector over there write down some points which will be easy for you to remember while solving some questions while solving if you don't know the answer of any question not sure skip for that point you just move ahead you will get a chance to come back so this is like exam information i gave now let's look at the question distribution one book bebok okay now the way you need to read the book based upon your certification which you are going to read that varies okay the first section in the bebok is mentioned like introduction to business analysis be a professional profession under like competencies and key concepts and techniques okay you can see for the ecba you are getting 25% questions on this section itself but when we look for the ccb and cbap we say we see that there are no questions been asked on this why because they think that you already know it why why there is a need to again test your that whether your your know like what is business analysis what they do no need right so another knowledge area we have is like business analysis planning and monitoring this is the knowledge area where you will do planning and monitoring of your business analysis work so you will get a five percent questions on this number of questions will be three for the ccba you will get 12 percent questions on this 
and for the CBAP, you will get 14% questions. Similarly, for elicitation and collaboration, these are the knowledge areas, guys, mentioned in the paper. For elicitation and collaboration, you will get 20% questions on this section itself. For the CCBA, you will get 20%, and for CBAP, you will get 12%. So requirement life cycle management, you will get 20% questions on this, 18% for CBAP and 15% of this. For strategy analysis, it's 5% for the ACBA, 12% for CCBA and 15% for CBAP. And looking at this knowledge area, requirement analysis and design definition, IIBA found that based upon the information they gathered from all over the world, like BAs from all over the world is like 24% questions will be from this section. 32% questions will be asked for CCBA and CBAP it will be 30%. IIBA doesn't disclose like what is the pa passing percentage, but consider it is like 70%. So look at this point and this point, you are close to 50% and these are 20-20. So we know where to target it. And the last knowledge area is solution evaluation. 1%, 6%, and you can see 14%. This knowledge area or whatever task been mentioned inside this knowledge area. According to the IIBA, they think like junior level BS does not get involved into solution evaluation. The BAs with very high amount of experience and expertise they do the solution evaluation. So that's the reason you're, you're going to get only one question if you are going to appear for ECBA certification, right? Moving ahead, let's look at the fees. ECBA have like application fees, $60 all in USD. Exam fees is like 110. And retake, you can take if you fail it for 85. This is for the members, and it is this one is for the non-members. Application phase remains the same, but you can see that there is drastic difference between the exam fees. So it's always better to take the membership of IIBA because you will get access to the lot of materials being provided by the IIBA. For the CBAP and CCBA, you can see the figures. It's 125 USD. Exam fees is 325 and retake is 250. This is for members and for non-members, it makes a huge difference. Okay, so about the looks of training. Looks of training provides more than like 200 courses in business analysis, pro programming, software, agile, and everything. And we provide the training in English, Polish, and other languages as well. All trainings are delivered online. And looks of training is been endorsed by the IIPA. It means whatever training you will take from looks of training, it will be counted into your professional development hours. And these are the some of the trainings we provide for related to PA. These are some of the upcoming trainings we have like introduction to business analysis, which started today, planning and monitoring. Again, we have introduction to business analysis in Feb. Some other, if you're looking for ECBA preparation, we have on from 19 to 26 April, you can reach out to our training department these are the some of the training training we provide and our training department is like certified from IIBA endorsed uh, education provider. So this is like certified training institute you, you can say, which makes a value in a market. Any questions? You can write it down in the chat.
Thank you very much, uh, Vishal, for, for your presentation. So uh, yeah, like Vishal said, if you if anybody has any questions, please write them down in the in the chat and we'll uh, we'll start uh, we'll start answering them. I'm sure it's going to take a bit until everybody writes. Uh, yeah. So with regard to with regard to the to the recording, so uh, yeah, uh, we will be uh, editing it and uploading it, uh, and everybody who who registered for this uh, for this webinar will get access to it. So it's not a problem. So including the presentation, Vishal's advice, and everything. Feel free to write down your questions. I would be glad to help you. Okay, Bebop book. Okay, where you can order it? On IIBS website, I can tell you. If you take the membership, you can download a member's copy. Or if you don't want a membership copy, you can just Google it. Bebok book PDF. You will get a lot. It for membership, it depends upon like country to country for the few countries in asia and africa iib and in uh, south america iib charges of charges of 50 usd for a membership and the countries which according to iiba it's a developed country they charge 110 usd per year but you will get a lot of additional materials it's worth to get the membership of iiba uh, Mihai, certification cost, we already saw it. Let me show you that screen again. This is what the certification cost looks like for members and non-members. How you can get membership, like uh, you can go on IIBS website and sign up for that using your personal email ID and just pay for like membership fees. Even you can get the like uh, unpaid membership. You will not have the access to a lot of materials, but it's always better to sign up for free and explore what all we have. Yes, exams are online. You can give it from your home as well. Maybe Alex can answer about this, like placement assistance or. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I was just about to do it. So uh, we don't offer any sort of uh, any sort of placements, placement assistance uh, with regard to, to our trainings. What our trainings do is prepare you for the technical part of any sort of uh, business analysis uh, of any sort, sorry, of interview for any sort of business analysis position you might have. I think as as Vishal can can probably tell you because he has more experience in this field as I do. Even as a BA junior, you still have to answer some technical questions, uh, you know, just to show the interviewer that you at least have theoretical knowledge of the necessary skills required to successfully perform the BA role. And that is where our courses come into come into play. And also the and also during our trainings, we do we do a lot of work with the participants to prepare them for some of these certifications exam, especially for the ECBA one. So we have an entire workshop dedicated to preparing you for the 
first uh, level of the certification and also at the end you get the entire uh, 24 personal development hours that are necessary. And also just, just for everybody because they have asked, I'll also leave the IIBA uh, website so you can so you can check it out and uh, and and find out more about what uh, what we shall talked about during the during the webinar. Uh, are there any other questions you'd like to ask Vishal? Yes, yes. You uh, so these professional uh, development hours, as uh, as Vishal said, uh, you get by attending uh, trainings which are facilitated by uh, IIBA endorsed educational providers. So the training the training company you that facilitates the training you take part in needs to be uh, certified as an endorsed education provider by IIBA. Otherwise, you don't get these um, these particular uh, personal development hours. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, and Vishal, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you can also get them if you take part, for example, in uh, in various events by your local IIBA chapter. Yes. Yeah. So in You're right. Uh, yeah. If uh, uh, so, in Romania there is an IIBA local chapter. Um, Vishal, is there an IIBA chapter yes. in Poland? Yes. In yeah. Poland as well, we have. Yeah. yeah you, when you create an account on IIBA, they will ask you to select uh, like nearest IIBA chapter based upon your country of residence. We have another question from uh, from Mihai about retaking the certification. Uh, okay, there is no time restriction like uh, retaking a certification. But why to think about the retaking? You guys can clear up in one attempt. There are just like <clears throat> some techniques we need to follow up we have to concentrate on few areas but there is no like restrictions how you're going to take it certification certificate is like valid for three years ccba and cbab certification ecba as well And you need to renew it. You need to every year. You need to add your BA experience to keep that certificate valid. You... Okay, uh, for you, I would say the uh, junior business analyst or business analyst internship. If your education is in business analysis field or you have masters in business analysis. Uh, then uh, you can use that education background to get this role. But if you don't have it, but you are mostly looking for business analyst uh, role kind of or internship, I would suggest like go for ECBA and then <clears throat> then you can uh, uh, you can get an internship. You don't need actually to take the re exam. You need to prove them that. You uh, you are doing a business analyst work. You have to uh, put a register a log some business analysis work you have done in last one year, so it gets keeps on extending. Okay, so I think we've cleared pretty much every question that was asked. Is there, uh, are there any other questions? <clears throat> Vishal, I think, uh, I think we're okay. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Vishal, for, for, for the presentation. Thank you everybody for taking the time to attend it. Uh, I hope to see as many as uh, as many of you as possible in uh, in business analysis roles. Uh, as I've told you, uh, we will be sending you in a in a follow up email the uh, the recording of this webinar, and also in the follow up email, you're all, you're going to have a link 
to our BA trainings, if you want to take part in them, and also um, uh, a link to a feedback form, which we ask you uh, to, to complete so that we know what we could do to improve our, our future webinars. So that's that. Thank you very much, every, uh, thank you very much everybody for, for taking part. Thank you, Vishal, as well. And uh, have a great day or a great afternoon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Thank you all.